Moo of the day, moo of the day, sit right down, it's the moo of the day, with Ariel. Hi guys! So today, on my moo of the day, today is Makeup Monday. Have you heard those days where you feel like your body isn't in taking enough liquid? So you're like forever thirsty? That's not my day today. I think it's because I made some food this morning and I burned the inside of my mouth. So like, it feels all hot. It's like, I need to cool it down somehow. So yeah. Alright. So today is Makeup Monday. And today on Makeup Monday, for my move, I think we are going to do... Just kidding. So, I got this from Spencer's. It's a tail, the kitty tail, and also cat ears. It's like a little headband. And I think that for the move of the day, for my makeup, I'm going to do. So, it reminds me of. And they're like, oh. I was trying to figure out like what kind of makeup I was going to do today, like if I was going to do beauty or special effects. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I'm going to do a more dramatic beauty makeup today, and it's going to be cat-inspired. So, let's get on with our cat-inspired makeup. First off, we're going to use our foundation in whatever color is your skin tone. You don't have to brighten yourself up or anything today. I think tomorrow from, for How To Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys my new... my bedtime ritual that I just started because it really helps for acne like I had started doing this like because my acne is really bad right now I don't really know why but I just started doing it and now and now my pimples are like minimizing and are almost gone it makes me very happy because that's a big problem for me so Let's move on up. Moving on up, moving on up. Move, 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 That was kind of like Graveyard Girls, but it was a little less sippy than hers. I do that some, every time I speak she, I have to be like, sippy, sippy. Like every time. It doesn't matter if I'm in public or not. It's kind of crazy. Alright, so, for the cat makeup, since we're going to do black cat eye, we're not going to use black makeup. We're going to use a silver or a gray, because in that way, if you use black, then your cat eye won't stand out as good. So, we're going to use this sparkly silver. Animal is home today, so he's, like, making insane things in the middle of my video. What? Which isn't good, because I just did my Facebook account. It streams straight on Facebook, so all of his friends can see. Hey, you're not friends with any of mine. How do you know? I know. So, there's our gray. I have gray and silver. So, and like I just said, I finally got the Facebook up. It's Ariel Divine Bovine. If you type that in, um, it'll it should come up. It's all public. So everyone can see what I got going on. So that should be fun for you guys, because I know it's been highly requested for me to have one. So. I mean, too, but I don't get it. This has got. I have some black eyeliner here. It's got a little bit of glimmer, because when I think of cats, I think that they're like sassy and everything. So I think that they should be like glittery and pretty. So I'm gonna do a cat eye with my hand in a mirror here. Why do you have to do these in the morning? Because that's how it goes. If I did them at night, then they couldn't be more of the day. They'd be more of the night. Yeah, and that's, like, not as cool. Afternoon. Well, because then, because there's people that are... Because I have a fan... I have, like, people 
from all different places. Here's my one cat eye. I have um, mo bovines in all different types of places. So if I do it at 9 or 10 in the morning for us, that's noon for other people. So I thought that that would be a perfect timing. I apparently stuck at eyeliner today. Pretty day to, day to start decide to do a cat eye when you're stuck at eyeliner. I'll do it for you. No, please don't. Very <laughs> soft. That's a disaster. Okay. Yeah, so, it's goofing off. Kitty, yeah, kitty. I'm tired. This one is not as kitty as I like. I like when to swoop up a little bit more. It knows they can see at the back of your mirror. It's amazing. Stop, otherwise you're going to be banned from the video. No, I'm promised. That too. Okay. So it's a little more kitty winged. If you like to don't tone it down a little more, usually I just like brush it out so then that way it still shows up, but it's a little more toned down. Like I just toned it down a little. So that's all very cat. Um I would think that a cat would have a little down here. Just to outline. I see cats are very feminine. Mm. So, there you go. I could see this as a really good goth look, actually. Look at it. Cap on. And then for your mascara, I'm using Great Lash. Um, for your mascara, I, you like to do it you don't want it chunky, but you want to do your eyelashes to stand out a lot. Like if you don't, if you just really like touch them with this makeup look, I would like really go back and forth and make sure you coat them well. So, sorry guys, it makes it difficult for me to look in the cam and do this. A fun fact for you guys, um, even if they, sometimes my videos get messed up and that's why there's multiples, but my videos that I do, I make sure I don't um, do extra takes of them, they're all spare of the moment, so I feel like you actually like see more what actually happens when that happens, because um, I try to only edit what I have to. I don't think I've really edited, edited very heavily on any of these, though. I know he's trying to kick me out of the video. Well, if you're making it hard to shoot, then that makes it difficult. I always make it hard to shoot. So if you can see my eyes, they look a little more flossy flossy than usual. Okay. Oh. I feel like this is eyes not really coating with mascara. I don't know if I can do mascara and that's why. I have like other mascaras I can use. Okay. So my eyes are heavily coated with mascara. They're cat eyed. Um another thing that I would do with this look is when I see this, like I actually think of Fashion Kitty too, because I used to read the books when I was littler. 
Hey, give me the nostalgia here. So I like to put a little bit of color in my cheeks, look right at the apples of them, so then that way it really stands out. Um, where did that sheet go? Oh, on the floor. That's cool. Hold on a sec so I can get the sheets. Anything else? No. Okay. And then. Michael, uh, Anna, can you please go get the? Okay. Can you please go get the ma the lipstick I just made? I just made lipstick, guys. Look where it is. It's in the kitchen, on top of the microwave. I'll go find it. Okay. Thank you. I just made crayon lipstick again. Last time it got a little messy because I had it in the case that like chalk came out on Valentine's Day because I thought that would be a really cute case for it to be in. But that got really messed up. Thank you. Hold on. My brushes I put away for once. Yay! They still need to be clean though. Clean my sponges, but don't clean my brushes. Okay. So, I made some random colors, just what randomly I had. I made a blue. It looks better on the chip. Green. White, brown, yellow, peach, and orange. So I know these are kind of weird colors, but I wanted to make sure I made colors that I wouldn't usually buy. So then that way, if I needed them for whatever makeup, then I could use them. Pink. I think I'm going to use the peach right now and try it out. I have not tried out any of these colors, so they're really bad. And I have not tried them out yet. Okay, I need... I need to make a brush first. Okay, I feel as if this time I didn't add enough stuff like last time. Let's try this one. I feel as if these weren't mixed very well. Because it feels just like crayon and it doesn't feel like actual makeup. It's very waxy. Like this one feels a little better. <coughs> but that just doesn't. <laughs> this isn't working as well as it did last time. Like nothing is like coming out or any of that. So I'm going to have to re blend these basically and redo them. It kind of stinks because some of these colors are really cool. I think that my blue would have been more potent. I really like this blue. I'm hoping. The blue is more potent, but the cat and blue lips really don't match. Alright. So I'm going to use the lipstick I was going to use to begin with. Um, because I thought that would be a little more cooler than it ended up being. Um, basically, I put a little bit of Vaseline in there, so <laughs> I basically didn't have enough in there, bas basically, I basically didn't have enough in there, basically. Apparently, I'm going to say that word like a million times today. Basically. Basically. Okay. So, toned down lip. I'm a very nude lip with this. That looks look good. Mm. So then, and with hair... Where's my comb? Mm -hmm. We're going to do the typical aerial hairstyle. Messy. It's not messy. It's just gonna be like call it messy history. It was a little messy. It's like if zombies were to inhabit my body right now, I feel as if this is what my hair would look like. And then you brush it out so it doesn't look as messed up. They're gonna inhabit your body, I better run. Have a pitchfork. It was the zombies that smacked you yesterday. Not me. It was the zombies. The zombies inhabited my body. It's going to be my excuse next time I get yelled at for something. It was the zombies that did it. I didn't do it. The I zombies inhabited my body. It doesn't, work. doesn't happen with help, help with mom or anything? 
I've already tried it. Oh, darn it. That would have been a good one. Okay. So I think that, like, messy hair looks really good. Yeah. Darn it. That was going to be my next guess. Because of the doctor. What's your next one? I've used a lot. Sorry. Okay. So it looks really good with messy hair. I actually like this look better than I thought I would. So now. I look all kitty. Oh, you can blame me on the boogie, like too. You blame me on the boogie. I blame it on the boogie. I blame it on the sunshine. Blame it on the moonlight. And blame it on the good times. I blame it on the boogie. I really like that song. I don't know why. I have no clue what you're singing. It's called Blame It on the Boogie. It's an older song. But this is how I style my hair. Like, depending on what I'm doing that day, I'll style it the other way around so it doesn't look as messy. I think I look cool. I'm totally going to go out like this and see what happens. No, you're not embarrassing me. And then here is where, where did I put my, I don't know where I put my hair bow. Is my hair bow over here? No. My silver bow? No. Can you? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, because I think it's like right there too, because I usually put my bows. Don't, don't hit. You can't catch. I know, that's why I said don't life. throw it. Can't catch so usually this life. is when I put my kitty bow, because I think a bow would look really cute with this, because like a kitty look. I like silver bows. I, like silver bows. Yeah, I think this look looks really cute, um, and if you're not like so girly, it's like a little more edgy, I think. And it was, I think, for some reason I feel as if this would look really good with a choker. Ooh, it would look good with my cameo. Hold great. on, hold on. I haven't worn my cameo in a really long time. Yeah. This is my favorite necklace. I just found it. I forgot I had it. <sighs> because I'm like, I never, I stopped wearing it because I was so afraid to break it. This is like my favorite necklace. It's a freak necklace. Yay! I told my mom I had to have this necklace, and I saw one at the Renaissance Fair, and then she bought me one for my birthday. I didn't even see it coming, and she, like, bought it for me. I was so happy. You drank me. So. Wednesday, you can wear this bed. Oh. Look what's on it. Hi, the camel. Well, day? Yay. So I feel as if this is like good length. Wraps around my neck a little. And it feels like it's an older style necklace. I used to, I wore it one time with my, with my mom's vampire dress that I kind of inhabited because like my favorite dress ever. Love Halloween and weddings. And it's like both. And so it makes it awesome. My hair just does not want to stay teased today. I think it's because it doesn't have hairspray in it yet. So, this is going to be a look of the day. I'm seriously going to go out like this. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, yes I am. I don't know what I'm going to wear. I think I'm going to wear, like, skinny jeans, um, a tank top. I don't think I'm going to wear this black tank top. I don't think I'm going to wear a different tank top. And then a leather jacket. And I'm totally going to go out like this. And I'm going to look edgy and I'm going to look cool. It's going to be like a different look for me. I'm going to act like I'm not even related to you. Okay, that's fine. Well, I know it's fine for you. I think my eyes look like really pretty like this. I'm not used to doing a cat eye and having it actually look good. So this is new to me. But... So this is pretty. So this is your moo of the day. I'll <laughs> moo you later. Bye!